family. And so when I think about what we need to do, we have 33,000 people a year who die from guns. I think we need comprehensive background checks, need to close the online loophole, close the uh, gun show loophole. There's other matters that I think are sensible, that are the kind of reforms that would make a difference, that are not in any way conflicting with the Second Amendment. You mentioned the Heller decision, and what I was saying uh, that you referenced, Chris, was that I disagreed with the way the court applied the Second Amendment in that case, because what the District of Columbia was trying to do was to protect toddlers from guns. And so they wanted people with guns to safely store them. And the court didn't accept that reasonable regulation, but they've accepted many others. So I see no conflict between saving people's lives and defending the Second Amendment. Let me bring Mr.